Hey guys, so I am finally going to do the what is on my iPhone tag. I've never been requested for this, and if I have, it's been maybe one to two times, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I love watching these videos, especially since ever since I got an iPhone, I've been wanting to find cool apps. So I credit all the apps that are on my phone to other people's what's on my iPhone videos. I have the iPhone 4. I don't know, I like it. It runs a little slow, but it works as a phone, I'm not complaining. The case that I have on it is from Caseable, and I customized it myself, and I'm super excited. You pay 35 bucks to get a custom phone case, and it's durable, like it's a hard plastic case, it protects your phone, but this is my favorite thing in the world. So I, I don't think I'll ever have another phone case. You guys know I've had this phone case on for months and months, and I am obsessed with it, so definitely check out their website. You can put any picture you want on your case. Basically all I have to intro this video, so without further ado, let's get into my phone. Alright guys, don't mind this giant dot right here. I don't know what it is. It's a speck of dust inside the lens or something, and I can't get rid of it, so we're just gonna ignore this lovely thing. Here is an up close and personal shot of my phone case, which is my favorite thing in my life, pretty much. I love scary stories to tell in the dark. Stephen Gamble's my favorite artist, and yeah, I was just so happy to get this phone case. So I'll have uh, Caseable's website listed down below because it's really, really awesome. My background at the current moment is just a random picture I found on Tumblr. It's perfect size for a phone background, and uh, it's like a field of something. I don't know, but it's pretty. I like the way it makes the numbers look for my password. So this is the main page uh, that I access my apps. I don't know. Um, I feel like I can't talk today, so don't mind me. I'm really bad at like these voiceover type things. Um, anyway, the first row is like social media, uh, what I consider like the main social medias except for Facebook. Um, so we got Twitter which you should follow me on Twitter because it's a good time. I like to talk to you guys a lot on Twitter, so feel free to send me a little tweet and I'll reply. Uh, Tumblr, because uh, I'm addicted to Tumblr, so you should follow me on there as well and send me messages and stuff and I'll talk to you. And yeah, I'm way too addicted to Tumblr. <laughs> like I said, Facebook, I never use. Um, I do have a public, public, what is a public? I have a public figure Facebook, but I rarely go on it and I never really use my personal Facebook either. Um, it's there, but I don't use it. Then the YouTube app, of course, because every night before bed I watch YouTube videos, so here's some people that I'm subscribed to. And then I have like my three main photo apps, uh, like my Instagram, of course, if it'll go, there we go, uh, which you should also follow me on, by the way. And sometimes I like to follow you guys back, so feel free to uh, follow me and then I'll snoop on all your pages, because I do that a lot. <laughs> Afterlight is the main program that I use to edit my pictures. I just love it so much. So you'd go here. It has like the best filters. I really like this one a lot. And I love this one for black and white. So it has amazing filters, hella filters. And then there's the effects, of course, like the brightness and uh, contrast and all that that I use. Mostly I just fix the brightness and contrast in a lot of my pictures if there's no filter on it. And then my photos, of course, just my pictures. Uh, my music, I use my music most of the time instead of Pandora or Spotify, but I do have both. And then we have Weather, which I use that app a lot. Can't open it and show you because it'll tell you the town I live in. Safari, search on the internet. Calendar, I do like my calendar. Just, it helps me remind me of things, you know. Today is Good Friday, apparently. My notes, uh, mostly what I keep in my notes are video ideas, especially for my horror channel. So here's some like horror cha channel stuff going on. <laughs> um, yeah, videos, room stuff that I want. I'm doing, working on a video of like sweets and stuff. Uh, I don't know what drugstore is, what is this? Oh, things that I want from the drugstore. <laughs> Random things. Oh, and stories. So in like the middle of the night is when I get my best ideas for writing. And so I'll write them down in my notepad. Shazam's on the front screen because I like easy access to it, but I hardly use it. If I'm in the car, sometimes I'll use it. It's where you can like search and find the song name of something if you're listening to the radio. Luminosity is like one of my favorite apps. It's the free version. It really helps learn uh, math skills, memory skills, things like that. I really, really enjoy it. It has really fun games, but some of them are really hard and I hate them. I hate the games sometimes. <laughs> so Poshmark is where I sell my clothes. So if you're ever interested in like buying my stuff, I sell a bunch of clothes on there. I really need to update it because all this is kind of older posts. 
Um, but yeah, I like to sell my stuff on here. It's super easy. So if you see something you like, go buy it. Wells Fargo, because you got to keep updated with your financial situation. Bottom row, phone, mail. Mail, I check every five seconds of the day. Camera, text messages. On this page, this is what we got. This is the random uh, top line. I don't know. The App Store, Maps, Contact Settings. I just thought they all kind of went together, so I put them all in the same row. Uh, this one is like my workout one. See the little muscle? That means a workout one. I have Lauren Jane, which is a great app for monitoring your walks and runs. The Blogilates app, of course. Um, and then I have mental health things in this folder as well. So I have seven words, which is a really fun game where they give you clues. It's kind of like crossword puzzles and they give you clues and you have to find or you have to spell um, a word out of certain letters. It's pretty cool. Uh, Duolingo is how I am learning German right now <laughs> since I am learning German. A lot of you guys know that I want to learn it. My boyfriend and I are actually going to hit that hard this summer and we're going to learn German together. And then Sleep Cycle is, like I mentioned before in my laziness video, um, a good app to track your sleep and it wakes you up in like a good stage of sleep. And then my gaming folder, which has my favorite games uh, ever. So Sudoku is my guilty pleasure. It's not a guilty pleasure. I don't feel guilty about doing it at all, but I love Sudoku a lot. Um, it's probably my favorite, like, written game over crossword and stuff like that. Tiny Tower's my jam. I love Tiny Tower. I've played Tiny Tower for years and years. Um, it's an addiction. I can't get over it. Textropolis is pretty cool. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna show you. Textropolis is where you uh, go to certain cities inside the game, like Amsterdam, and you have to spell as many words as you can using the letters from Amsterdam, and I've gotten pretty good at it, not gonna lie, but it's a good, like, mental challenging game. Icon Pop Quiz is just, you know, you play quizzes and you have to identify um, logos and icons like those kind of things uh, for certain movies, shows, characters, things like that. Pocket Planes is exactly like Tiny Tower. Not as addicting though. I'm not as good at it, but I do like it, so it's there. Flow Free is a really fun game. It's just like a, you have to connect the lines, like the pipes uh, you have to connect, but you have to use the whole space of the board. Um, and yeah, there can't be any blank spaces. This is Doors and Rooms. I really love escape games, and this is Can You Escape? Those are ones I like to play randomly in the evening normally, <laughs> normally before I go to bed. But I'm obsessed with escape games. Then I have my photo folder, see the camera, and uh, Mirrorgram, which just like f it makes the pictures mirrored, I don't know. <laughs> Widogram, which makes like the Instagram square thing, but I don't really use Widogram because I use Afterlight. Diptych is how to make collages. Uh, A Beautiful Mess is probably, probably my favorite one in this folder. Um, it's very popular amongst people, but it's really, really good. I think it's 99 cents actually. And so is Afterlight, by the way, and then the additions inside the program are also 99 cents. You can also add doodles on it, which is super cute. So it has all these like doodles you can put on your pictures or words. You can type your own words using these fonts or they have phrases for you, which are really cute. And then there's borders. Sometimes I use borders. My pictures normally aren't this cute, but I like this uh, this app. Timer Cam, never used it, but sometimes I like to have a timer, so I have it just in case. Characters is pretty interesting. It has a bunch of like text characters that you can put on Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that um, that you can't make with a keyboard. See, this is how long it takes my uh, phone to load programs. Oh, there we go. So, oh god, don't fall, don't fall. So you have like the weird arrows and stuff like that. It's just a bunch of characters. Kind of cool. Visco Cam, which is really good for filters. I really like it. Aviary is one I used to use a lot on my droid. Um, it's kind of similar to Afterlight, and I believe it's free, so you can always get that one. And then this has my music notes, but it is like video and music folders. So iTunes stores in there for music if I want to buy anything. Uh, FaceTime is a video thing. <laughs> Netflix. Um, I love Netflix. Pinterest is in there. I don't know why. It's just a random and I didn't know where else to put it. Uh, Spotify and Pandora, I use those two all the time. And then the last screen is like all these random shit apps that you can't get rid of. Uh, I put clock and calculator in here because, you know, handy dandy this guy. So we have the flashlight, 
the clock is right there and then the calculator so I don't need the app because I just use the little swipe up motion to get that and that is my phone and what's on my phone hopefully this was entertaining for you guys and you liked the apps that I use let me know your favorite apps down below and hopefully you try out some of mine that I've recommended I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys soon bye Thank you.